Hey everybody, this is Liz here and you are tuning in to Lizbeth Ladder Series. Hope you enjoy the series. Surprise, surprise, everybody. So it's Kazoo. So what happened is her voice audio is a bit soft and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna comment it over her Ladder Series video. So let's hope that goes well. Let me know if it works out fine. Right now she's getting hit by the Night Prefix and the Aeration Shot and the Tracking Arrows in the face. I think that was about 5,000 damage. But the Glacial Wave hits and the Brilliant Firewall there on from Liz. And look at that. The Sniper right now is getting caught in the Poison and the Freezing Few hits as well. The Ice Spirits are oh, getting frozen and a beautiful Chilling Mist there. I think that, oh, that must have hurt. And the Freezing Swap continuation there. But she got hit by a nice Sweep Shot iframe usage from the Sniper. Mihomi is doing fine with a nice Aeration Shot from the Triangle Shot. And the Tracking Arrows is out once again, followed by the beautiful Flower. And a Night Prefix blocking once again. And even the Ankle Shot getting her, but the Charge Shot not quite, unfortunately. Even the Siege stuns as well, but she dodged away beautifully with the Triangle Shot on the Fireball. But the Freezing Sword in the end sealed the victory for Liz. So what an exciting and short first match for her ladder series right now. We're fighting against Nephophilia. And I think that's her majesty. And look at Liz, so sportsman woman. I don't know, so sporting I guess. But look at that, it's asking is that Akawa? No, it's not me, it's Liz. So, yep. And look at this. Oh look at that, what a sneaky bite blast here after she types game. I think Liz is angry right now. She dodges a 90 laser and a freezing sword stair catching there. Oh, look, there's two crits, that's 4,000 times 2, 8,000 damage, but she got caught by the switch gravity and the gravity ball combo here. And even her shockwave was cancelled by a nice shockwave from the Mystic or the Majesty. Poison spray is out from the Majesty. There's the gravity trap as well, but look at that. Three ticks on the poison from the Majesty. The Nine Tails laser is used defensively, but Intellect debuff is on. The Frost is quite here, but the Ice Spirit is out. Look at it, it seems like she's gonna be frozen here. She is, and she gets hit by a beautiful Chilling Miss. And I think right now, everybody should know that the, the Ice Sphere and the Chilling Miss continuation rotation is this favorite combo. So you must watch out for that if you are facing her off in Ladder Greenwood. But right now, in game 3 against Hell, I'm burned. So I believe that's a Selena. Indeed, it is. But a nice freezing from the Glacier Spike and the Freezing Sword to pack up some early damage on Hell, I'm burned. And the Firewall as well. Poison spray here. But she got back to wave by a nice shot wave and even Rolling Lava here. But no, she blinks away from it beautifully. The Selena is backing out at the moment, she dodges the Frost Wind, the nice Limb Spa, but the Freezing Swords catching her there with her own Frost Wind catching Liz here. And the Shockwave is dodged with a nice new stage of Flame Road, I think the Ignite is going to be coming soon. The Bling is Beta, a nice Glacier Wave but it was a double freeze from both of them. And the Ice Fear, I believe the Chilling Mist is coming out. Indeed, Ice Fear Chilling Mist combo once again. Do you see that? That was 13k damage times 2. That was double freeze with the Inselect Prefix procking here in the 26,000 damage for the Chilling Mist. My goodness, you don't see that very often in the other series. And that is Liz for you. So 13,000 damage times 2. Not too sure if that's about, but Liz is saying that her computer is lagging right now. But she's going to be fighting GG Talenzi here. I believe this is an adapt because of the bubble gun. Oh, this is an adapt. Yup, indeed, she says it's an adept. That's two hits on the freezing swords there. That's 7,000 damage. That was a nice beautiful frost spin to slow the adept down. A nice iframe usage there by the adept to dodge the attack from Liz. But the magma wave there dodged beautifully by Liz into a frost wind here. And the firewall, no, the adept backs out. She goes into an ice beam here. She's frozen here, not looking good. And she's getting caught by a stun grenade. No, I think that was splash into a magma punch and icy punch there. But look at that, the mixed faction is dodged. But the chilling miss there, not quite finding a target. I think she's gonna fall down from the wax. No, she didn't quite. No, she did. She falls down from the wax. The ice pump is out from the adept. The freezing field, that's too far away, honey. But she casts the ice catch, and right now I think she's gonna be approaching, wa waiting for the ice to get a expression here from the adept. The freezing sword once again used long range, not finding a target once again. The, the Manticore whirlwind is used. And even that, the slime is hitting this right now, but she got caught. So the deck got caught by the gravity ball. But a beautiful glacier wave there on Ice Girl Expression. Yeah, the Ice Girl Expression was cancelled. Oh my goodness, the Ice Girl is dead. Runs frantically for her life here. But the flame road, the Ice Beam is used defensively, not quite finding a target. She seems to be burning right now. The Wax is used, the Frost Wind goes in. And the Freezing Swords. And the deck is crawling on the floor right now into her own Wax as Liz picks up and yet another victory. So right now she's going into gain. Five, I believe, yes, game five. I believe that is a barbarian thing that is using an axe, but destroyers can use axe as well. Once again, Liz being very sporting here, not going to engage until her opponent is back from AFK. Yep, that's Liz for you, she's very nice. Freezing swords there to catch 
The Barbarian, after he has tumbled and goes into a dash. Beautiful play there. The Fizzing Field. I think that's too far away. But I think that was missing just by a bit. She gets caught by a circle swing there. It's a Bone Crush here. She has the Bone Crush prefix. I mean, the defect on her. But the Shadow here. And the Frost Wind here on the Barbarian as it slowed down. And a nice Glacier Wave to catch him after the Whirlwind. And the Freezing Swords as well. Followed by the Ice Fear. But is it going to get caught by the Ice Fear? No, look at that. It's the Iron Skin is out right now. But it got frozen by the Ice Fear here. And another Freezing Wall here. Frostman is used, catching Liz there with the rolling attack. And the Cyclone X is up, but look at that aeration into a bling, gets her out of that sticky situation. And she saves herself out from a lot of critical damage being taken. The Gravity Ball there flinched, she goes in for a nice flame spot, flinched. And into a Freezing Sword there, followed by a Frostman. Nice continuation of skills here. And the Glacial Wave, followed by the Chilling Mist combo one skin. And the next victory goes to Liz in game 5. So I have not watched these videos as at all. Okay, so I'm just looking at them for the first time. So yeah. I think the next one, she's fighting Oh Brian O. The freezing shield is used. The fire shield is used on the opposite end. I think that's a Selena there. Indeed it is. Freezing sword too far away this time, honey, once again. <laughs> Frostwind here into a glacier spider. Glacier eye freezes into a glacier wave double freeze and the firewall is used here. But it's a counter firewall from O Brian O here. A nice usage of Ignite there, I think that was some meaty damage and the Rolling Lava as well. This is to be taking some damage here, she's down to I think 75% HP and the Freezing Sword once again, not quite finding a target. Her Ice Cage is used, the Fireball, oh that was definitely off the target. The Flame Spark as well seems to be in totally off directions. Glacier Wave used defensively. Oh, she dodges the Frost Wind, but she got caught by the Glacier Wave from the Selena and the Phoenix Storm as well. But her Ice Wave combo is out once again, but the opponent not quite getting frozen here. A long range feeling sword this time finding a target that was 3.4k damage, but well, that not be enough. The frost in here into a firewall, nice usage of super armor here for the firewall, and so a beautiful chilling miss here, but it's only 1000 damage because of the reduction of damage from fire shield. But the shatter, oh, it hits, the shatter hits, right now the opponent is slowed down to being a snail as she gets caught by another freezing sword. That was 2 point, that was 2k ratings there from O Baron O. And it seems like this one is gonna be Crus Crusader, yes, the judgment hammer is out. The Freezing Swords as well, the Frost Wind, she got hit by the Holy Relic EX, not looking good. And the Holy Bull as well, into Electric Smite, my goodness, she loses 40% of her HP right from the start, even the Lightning Zap catch caught her there. And she's getting hit by the Lightning Zap, nice continuation of combos here. From who is this? Messiah's, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the Frost Wind catching him. And the Freezing Sword as well, but with that enough, the Ice Spear is out, but the Block is out as well. He, gave, he backs away, he's not getting frozen at the moment. The Chilling Mist, it hits, but there was Auto Block there, and that was... The Divine Vengeance, I believe. Nice shot wave here to cancel away the Judgment Hammer there. Long range Freezing Swords, but actually got caught by a beautiful Holy Bolt from his opponent once again. And the Iron Wheel is out from the Crusader. She gets caught by a defensive Holy Relic EX that was beautifully timed from the Crusader. And the Man's Call will win is out, will, as well is out. There's a the Taurus Hammer here there, and I think Liz is very happy because that means the Crusader is not going to be using Divine Avatar, so that means she still stand a chance here. The Freezing Sword catching the Crusader here. She can't follow through. That was a beautiful iframe usage from the Crusader there with the Electric Smite as he avoids the Glacier Wave. Oh, he got caught by a Firewall there, but look at this. This is down to 1k HP, and that was 2000 damage from the Lightning Zap, and she loses this match to the Crusader. So that was a very good round from the Crusader, definitely. And now we are down, we are down to game 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Game 8, guys. <laughs> And this will be up against Naru Kihiku. The stun grenade is thrown. The poison grenade as well. The poison grenade as well, I mean. The wax is used, but she'll come by the frost wind here. But a night prefix on the zap here. Magma punch and icy punch here. This is still stuck, and that was Magma Tower here, she got caught by the Mixed Infection as well, and even the Magma Wave, my goodness, she's taking a lot of kids, she's down to 70% HP here, even the Ice Pump pumping on her right now, and the Splash, followed by the Icy Grenade, more Magma Punch action here from the Adept, he's doing extremely well, 50% HP, this buff is left with 50% HP, but the Ice Beam not quite finding a target here, the Poison Break is used too late as the Poison Effect has already wore off, the Ice Cage is used here, it seems like the Zap right now is playing it safe to wait for those Magma Wave cooldowns but she got caught by a few ticks of those Poison Spray and a long range Freezing Swords there catching the Zap beautifully and the Hypnosis is used and the Ice Spear is out, could be an Ice Spear, no it's Blizzard here but she got caught and fall down from the Wax, that was unfortunate but the, but the Zap got frozen by the Ice Spear into a Glacier Wave Freeze and a Chilling Mist! Will that be enough, the Freezing Sword? Oh, 
if that was what a last minute turn around there if a lucky freeze from the ice spear and then a double freeze from the glacier wave into a beautiful chilling mist by Liz once again and the freezing sword took the zap away in a beautiful fashion so the last match guys as usual I believe we're gonna end off with a guardian so it's a uh, spectator as it ended but it's gonna be against Lynx I believe or Lynx KX you're caught by a beautiful glacier wave into a freezing wall he backs away with shield charge but will it be enough here the fling spark oh it hits, it flinches the paladin and I think the block was cancelled, not too sure. <laughs> Freezing field hits, he's slowed down right now and he's got slowed down further by the frost wind here. And the glacier spike, the shield charge is used by a caught by a freezing swords dead. Oh the justice crush didn't quite match the stun and the electric smite was used to get away from Liz. The fireball, oh it hits the target. As I think he got lucky block, not too sure, but the, I saw the sliding step there. But the divine Vartar is used at the moment. And I think Liz is going to be playing with his opponent here to run through him. Indeed she does. This is something that she has been telling me about. The shield charge is used. Look at that. She blinks behind the Guardian to avoid the lying zap entirely. That was beautiful play from Liz definitely. And the Divine Vata wears out the block is used. Flame Spark into a Glacier Wave. He's frozen right now into a Firewall here. Not too sure if Firewall is the right skill to use. But he still has his block here. The Guardian Force is used. The Freezing Sword. The Justice Crush hits into an electric smite, I believe. Yes, that's the daily combo they have been teaching all Guardians out there, and I'm glad to see it being used. But the Ice Sphere into a Chilling Mist once again. And even the Freezing Field, he's still frozen here into a Frost Wind here. He's in trouble right now as he backs away. He's backing out. If the Paladin is backing out, it means he's dying. Oh, she avoids that Holy Boat beautifully by cancelling her Inferno early there. And look at that, the Paladin is taking more damage, but the Sons of Faith is used. But I got frozen by the Glacial Free here. And the Blizzard Storm as it gets frozen repeatedly there with 1.4k, 2 ticks, critical. The block is used, but will it be enough here? The Freezing Swords, no, the block is used. I mean, the block saving him from the damage. The Ice Cage is out, the Fireball, he's, she's waiting for a sliding step. I'm not too sure if it hit the target there. The Holy Boat cancelled there by the Blue Flame Spark from this. The Garden Force once again used. But look at that, he's slowed down to a snail, he's caught in the poison. And a Glacier Wave on the Shield Charge once again. Beautiful time, Glacier Wave there. And a Freezing Swords there to prevent him from running away. He's still slow at the moment. A nice Force there to catch him into the Ice Sphere. I believe a Chilling Mist is coming. Yes, the Chilling Mist combo is out once again. But it's, oh, it's enough! The Chilling Mist, the Ice Sphere Chilling Mist combo takes the Garden away beautifully. So I hope you guys enjoyed this list ladder series with my commentary. Hope you guys missed the commentary for show matches as well. So yeah, the audio was soft. Hope you guys didn't find me a nuisance, but yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give her a thumbs up to show her your support as she brings you more episodes. I believe this week we'll be having two episodes of this letter series. The next one will be coming out on Friday, so look forward to that. And yeah, I think that was quite fun with me coming back with more commentary again. So I do miss my commentary for show matches. So for myself, I think I'm going to be using Secret Sword to do 10 matches of, of ladder, okay? And I'm just going to record that. If I lose 10 matches, I'll lose 10 matches. So look forward to my own ladder series as well. But that will just be a one-off, maybe one or two episodes. That won't be a continuation, I like this. So yeah, remember to subscribe to our channel. And yep, yeah, stomp the like button if you haven't. Thanks for watching once again. God bless. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye!